How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So we're on day two of the canoe build. Uh, a little nicer today, a little bit warmer out. Last, last week was cold. Um, so dad's gonna be out here in a little bit. So for anyone who hasn't seen the first video, um, just to give a quick recap, we built the strong back, kind of gave some preliminaries on, on what goes into building a canoe. And just for a quick, quick reference, we're using this book by Gil Gilpatrick, uh, Building a Strip Canoe. It's available on Amazon. This one's from 2010, it's the second edition. There's an older edition. It's uh, from 1985, I believe. And both good resources. So I'll put these in a link in the description below. Uh, that's basically what we're going by um, to build this canoe. So we get the strong back built, last video. Uh, since then I added a little bit more bracing and added the two foot extension. So we get a 16 foot strong back and then two foot extension added onto it. And I, I attached that extension with four three and a half inch uh, five sixteenths bolts. So if I build a shorter canoe, say less than 16 feet, um, I can remove that extension and I basically have two less feet of strong back that I have to walk around. On the opposite side of the strong back, we're gonna add additional bracing that is spaced at 20 inches because some canoes have their stations spaced at 20 inches. Um, so the strong back can serve two purposes. Basically any, anything that requires 18 inch spaced stations can be done on one side. Anything that requires 20 inch spaced stations can be done on the opposite side. So this canoe that we're building, which is the 18 foot white guide, is gonna have 11 stations and two stems. So today we have to cut out the stations and install the stations. So the back of this book has full size diagrams for all the stations. Each sheet within that has two diagrams on it. So on this back side, it has this has the 20 foot white guide. And on this side, it has the 18 foot white guide. So what I did is I transferred all these stations, I traced them onto a separate piece of paper. Just so I don't damage this, I wanna save this and have this last. And from that, I'll trace those onto half inch plywood. Each one that I trace out is half of the station. And I'll have to do a mirror image of that to make the full station. Um, and it should take two sheets of plywood to do the 11 stations and the stems. And I will note the stems are gonna be doubled up. So we'll laminate the, the stems to be twice the thickness of the rest of the stations. Um, because that requires a little more rigidity and requires a little bit of shaping on the end of those stems to get your canoe to come to a point and then transition into more of a rounded bow as it goes towards the bottom of the canoe. So we'll get those cut out today and hopefully installed on the strong back, kind of show how that's gonna go lining them up. And you have to pay attention to some certain details to make sure everything's square um, when getting those stations lined up on the strong back. So we'll go over that. So let's get started on that. and. Hopefully dad shows up here pretty soon. All right, so we have our four by eight sheet of half inch plywood and I'm just tracing out the stations right now that we're gonna install in the strong back today. Um, and just to give you an idea how we do that. So you're gonna trace out one of those stations onto a piece of paper, cut that piece of paper out, and then you'll trace this out on your plywood, but you're gonna do a mirror image of it because it's only half of the station. So you'll do one half and then flip it over and do the other half. Everything that's straight on this, I'll make a tick mark at every 90 degree angle. And I'm not gonna trace the, those straight edges out. I'm gonna use a square, a framing square, so I can make sure that all those parts are perfectly square. And then I basically, I'm gonna sketch that curve that's on the, the edge of the cutout. And again, I'll flip this over and I'll do the same thing lined up with the other half. That'll make my one station. And then that station will have a twin. I can use that station to then trace out another station um, so I can have two of those stations. Now, an important thing is having a midline on that station clearly marked out and having it perfectly square with the base of it because the base of these stations are gonna go flush with the bottom of the bracing on my strong back. So when I go to install that station on this strong back, it's gonna go flush with the bottom of this two by four. So that'll be nice and square there. The station will come up. So what we'll do is we'll install station one and station 11. And I'll line those midlines up with a string and then install all the stations in between and the stems lined up off of those midlines. So yeah, tracing these out should take two sheets of plywood and we'll cut them out. And I'll basically do the same thing on, on the next sheet of plywood. So 
So we got our stations all cut out. Now it's time to install them in the strong back. It is. So we're going to start with station one and station 11. What we're going to do is run, it, run a string going from the end of the strong back, connected to the midpoint of station one, over the midpoint of station 11, and then connect it to the, or tighten it up to the end of the strong back. So we have a nice level line going down the strong back. And then we'll line up the remaining stations with that line, hopefully get everything centered, centered and in line. All stations are going to be level with the two by four cross members. So make sure that you get them on the right side or the correct side of them because they're all spaced 18 inches. I guess the most common mm -hmm. error is someone making a mistake and putting them on the wrong, the wrong side, side of the two by four. Okay. This will throw off your spacing of the stations. And then we'll, you know, stand back and take an eyeball down, make sure everything, just to see how it looks, you know. You want a straight boat. It's gotta, it's gotta look good. So. Yep. Yeah. Tweak all those. So basically those first two stations are going to lay the basis for the rest of the yeah. stations. And then everything else can be shifted on the strong back accordingly to line everything up. After all the stations are in, we'll run a basically a temporary strip. Don't know if we'll get to that today, but a temporary strip over the top of the stations right. to kind of tie them all in nice and Level. In perpendicular yeah. to the strong back. And then we can start laying our cedar strips. strips. We're finally getting yep. getting close to yep. that, that little, point. A little bit of work so before you get of, to prep building the actual canoe. So you cut out all the all the well, stations. most of them. So yep. if anything's crooked, wavy it's my or fault. crooked, it's your fault. Yep. I can blame it on you. Yep. I figured I was good for something. Fall, yeah. Well fall you showed guy. up, you showed up late, so <laughs> <laughs> now he's complaining that he's hungry. Yeah, well it's two o'clock. A couple hours past lunch. One fifty one. Good toughen up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll put those in. Oh, and one thing I want to mention is number all your stations. So you'll always know which station is which. So like 1 and 11 are going to be the same, 2 and 10 are going to be the same, and so on and so forth. Except for number 6 is right by itself. <laughs> Just some short screws, huh? Yeah. An like inch and a quarter. Yep. You good work. It's level. You feel that underneath and make sure it's where you want it. That looks pretty good, Dad. I mean, one thing we could do is just put a board under there. And right. That would be a good idea. You have a scrap piece of... Keep it all flush. You're right. The, the rest should be no all No wonder right. they're paying you the big bucks. What's that? No wonder they're paying you the yeah. big bucks. Get that right there. Yeah, that's, right. that's perfect. Right there, Paul. That is perfect. Just don't drill my finger. You know, what is it you say? You know, fun to get a little bit of blood? I've, I'm never working until I bleed. I am never working until I draw some blood, Paul, so. Back in our day, we just cut a finger off and walk it off. That's right. Kick it down the ice fishing hole. Didn't even bat an eyelash. Good? Good. So there, stations are installed. Yep. Stem is on just temporary, just sat it there temporarily. So you're gonna bring the stem to a point. So basically you're gonna round it here and then basically blend it into a point on the tip. A few supports going across the top, tie everything together, make sure everything's level. Let me start throwing on some cedar start, strips. St start ripping strips. Ripping you gotta, strips. You gotta, and, you gotta rip a lot of strips before yeah. you. Yeah. I actually ordered a router bit. It's gonna be here next week. So you rip so them, quarter and inch then uh, bead and cove. Bead and cove. Yeah. So yeah. quarter inch radius. And lots of strips. Bead and cove bit. Yep. So you can see the shape, shape of a canoe. 
Yeah, you can, you can uh, see it in your mind's eye. You can come into life. You can visualize a canoe there. Long way from being in the water, though. Yeah, it's a lot of work ahead so, of us. So yeah, I guess you're tired out. Ready, yeah, ready to go home. Time to go home and have some lunch. Uh, you worked me too hard. Here it is after two o'clock, well, close sure. to two. You had a big breakfast. You're good. I did have a yeah. big breakfast. You're good. Yeah. So a lot of prep work, but it's been fun. A beautiful day today. It is fine. Way, finally, way yeah, than... yeah. It's looking like uh, springtime up here. Yeah, feels fantastic. Yep. It's too bad to be stuck in the garage all morning. Yeah. 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 Worst so, things you could be doing. Yeah. You could be in the courtroom. I will be. Yeah. Hopefully not uh, too soon though. Middle of May. Do you think you'll be incarcerated? That I'll be in yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I got a good lawyer, so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right. Yeah. So until next time, get outside. It's good for the soul. It's good for something. It's good for the soul for sure. Yeah. See ya. Yeah.